you, if you don't recognize this, si no reconoce esto, and you haven't seen the best movie on that exists about the Old, uh, the Old Testament. Entonces, no visto la mejor película que existe del Nuevo Testamento. And if you haven't seen it, watch it. Y si no lo has visto, véalo. I could actually quote it by memory, the whole movie to you. Yo puedo decírtelo todo I por really letra, could. La película. I was watching it with Julio and I was quoting every sentence that was being said. <laughs> I've seen it so many times. So for those of you who don't know, this is from the movie called The Ten Commandments. And this actor, Charlton Heston, is playing the role of the person we want to talk about tonight. Father, Bless the people as we share your word this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated, everyone. Those of you who know, who've seen this, who is he portraying? Yeah, Moses. Exactly. And he's talking to this gentleman here. And if you saw the movie, you know who that is. This comes right out of the Bible. Bien, sale de la Biblia. He's talking to his father-in-law. And what's his father-in-law's name? Y como se llama el suegro. Yep, Jethro. 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 That's who it is. And the story that uh, this picture is about y la historia de que se trata esto is found in Exodus 18, se encuentra en Éxodo 18. Where Moses and his father-in-law get together after all the events of the plagues in Egypt donde Moisés y Jethro se junta después de todos los eventos que ha sucedido en Egipto. And now they're sitting together to enjoy a meal. Y ahora están sentados juntos disfrutando una comida. You wonder what he's saying to Moses, right? Se pregunta qué le está diciendo Moisés, ¿no? What would you have said to Moses if you were sitting in his position here? ¿Qué le tú qué tú le dijeras a Moisés si estuvieras en su posición aquí? Probably would have asked questions, probably would have asked something, right? Preguntas, algo así. Well, bueno, his father-in-law, su suegro, is not asking him a question. No le está haciendo una pregunta. His father-in-law is telling him le está diciendo this. Esto. You got to read it from here. What you are doing is not good. No está bien lo que haces. Who would have that courage to tell Moses what you're doing is wrong? ¿Quién tiene esa fuerza de decirle a Moisés que lo que estás haciendo está mal? What was Moses doing wrong? ¿Y qué fue lo que Moisés estaba haciendo mal? Well, in Exodus 18, the verses before, en Éxodo 18, 13, en los versículos antes, we find this. Encontramos esto. Moses sat to judge the people, se and the people stood before Moses from morning until evening. Se sentó Moisés a juzgar el pueblo, y estuvieron delante de Moisés desde la mañana hasta la tarde. Every day, Moses would do this. Todos los días Moisés Are you with me so esto? far? I want you guys to lose this thread, ¿Están right? Conmigo todo por ahora? And his father-in-law says, what are you doing? Y su suegro le dice, ¿qué estás haciendo? And Moses explains it. Y Moisés explica. In verses 15 to 16. En los versículos 15 y 16. Moses says to his father-in-law. Moisés le dice a su suegro. The people come to me to inquire of God. El pueblo viene a mí para consultar a Dios. In other words, to pray with them, to pray en for them. Inquire. para orar con ellos. All right. Moses goes on to add. Y luego añade Moisés. When they have a problem, they come to me. Cuando tienen problemas, ellos vienen a mí. So they come for prayer. Entonces viene para oración. And they come when they have problems. Y viene cuando tienen problemas. And Moses says. Y Moisés dice. I judge between one and another. Y yo juzgo entre el uno There's y el otro. There's a problem. Otro. Let's see what's going on. Let's work it out. Entre viendo los problemas a ver qué está pasando. And once he's finished fixing whatever problem it is. Y cuando termina de arreglar cuál sea el problema que era. I declare God's statutes and his laws. Y yo declaro la, las ordenanzas de Dios y sus leyes. So Moses is praying. Entonces Moisés está orando. Moses is teaching. Está enseñando. And Moses is dealing with every problem with every Israelite in the entire nation. Entonces Moisés está pasando con etapa, le estoy viendo cada problema con cada persona del país. How many here so far where we're headed with this, Entonces, right? Entonces, ¿cuántos aquí están this? entendiendo por ahora? That's why his father-in-law says, that's not good. Por eso el suegro de Moisés le dice, eso no está bueno. Talking to the man who saw God's vision in the burning bush. Hablándole al hombre que ha visto la visión de Dios en el 
fuego la sal, la sal saliente. The man who faced Pharaoh and said, "Let my people go." El hombre que le dijo al Pharaoh que deje a mi pueblo. The man who raised his rod and divided the Red Sea. El hombre que le partió los you know, mares. The man who after this would go up to Mount Sinai and see God face to face. El hombre que después de resolver esto fue la monte monte de Mount Sinai para ver el rostro de Dios. And yet he he was making a mistake. Y aún así él estaba cometiendo un error. And the father-in-law had the courage to tell him that. Y el suegro tenía eh, la valentía para decirle eso. Why would he do that? What, what, what's, what's, a, what's the eso? problem with this? ¿Cuál es el problema con esto? Well, Jethro says, Jethro le dice, in 18, en versículo 18, you will surely wear out. Desafallecerás de todo. Now understand this. Entiendan esto. This is the man that is in God's presence and he actually glows with the presence of God. Este es el hombre que él Moses, que you know, él se alumbra en la presencia de Dios. The God speaks to him, he hears the voice and que, all. He's, this is the, que Dios the le man. habla y él escucha la voz de Dios. And yet Jethro said, I don't care what you do. Y Jethro le dice, no importa lo que estás haciendo. You keep doing this. Tú continúas de hacer esto. I don't care how much you pray. No me importa cuánto tú I don't oras, care how much you're up the mountain and you see the visions and the glory. No importa cuánto tú visiones tú veas en las montañas. He tells him, you are going to wear out. Pero tú te vas a cansar. And he's right. He was right. Y estaba en lo correcto. But not only will you wear out, no solamente Moses, tú te vas a, eh, desfallecerás. yourself and these people who are with you. Tú y también este pueblo que está contigo. Because they had to wait on line. Porque tienen que esperar en línea. To get their turn to talk para, to Moses. Para tener su turno para poder and hablar con Moses. And some of them were getting discouraged. Y algunos estaban desanimando. Waiting for their turn. Esperando para su turno. Oh my God, these people. Hurry up, I gotta talk to them. Hurry up, hurry up. Apúrese, apúrese. Sound familiar? Suena algo similar? Mm -hmm. Well, the task is too heavy for you. Porque el trabajo es demasiado pesado para ti. Moses, it's too much for you. Moisés, es mucho para ti. You cannot do it alone. No podrás hacerlo tú solo. Let that sink in. Que eso el, lo puedan The one man doing everything, even though it was the man of God of the Old Testament, el Moses. El hombre que podía hacer todo, nope. aunque era el hombre de Dios. Can't do it. No, no lo puede hacer. So now Jethro gives him advice. Entonces, eh, Jethro le da consejos. And Jethro's advice is going to look really familiar to you. Y Jethro, el consejo de Jethro va a ser muy similar a from our classes over the last few weeks. Va a sonar similar a las cosas que hemos aprendido en las clases. Because what Jethro advises Porque lo que aconseja Jethro is this. Es esto. Does that look familiar? ¿Se ve esto similar? It should. Debería. Mm -hmm. Jethro tells Moses, look, you do this. Jethro le aconseja, haga esto. You're in charge. Tú estás encargado. Okay, your job tu trabajo is what you alone can do. Es lo que tú solo puedes hacer. Pray and teach. Orar y enseñar. That's your responsibility. Eso es tu responsabilidad. He was the shepherd under God, of course, of the whole nation. Él era el cordero de toda la nación. There was one leader. Era un líder. God's, God's purposes and God's order always has one main leader. El orden y el propósito de Dios es un líder eh, Okay? Mayor. Understand these principles. Entiendan estos principios. Jesus later on would say there will be one flock and one shepherd. Entonces Jesús luego va a decir va solamente ver un, that? un rebaño one. y un cordero. Okay, now he tells Moses, you do this. Y luego Moisés le, le dice a Moisés hacer But esto. But then choose among the people. Pero entonces escojan entre la gente. People who will be rulers of thousands. Gente que van a ser jefes sobre miles. Rulers of hundreds. Jefes sobre cientos. Rulers of fifties. Jefes sobre cincuentas. And rulers of tens. Y jefes sobre diez. In other words, take the whole nation. Entonces toman toda la nación. And organize them into groups. Y organizarlos en grupos. Groups of ten. Grupos de diez. With a leader over that group. Con un líder en ese grupo. Groups of 50. Y grupos de 50. Mm, five groups of 10, right? Get Cinco them together. Grupos de diez. And a leader over those 50. Y luego un líder sobre esos 50. And so on, across all the way up to the thousands. Y uh, añadiendo hasta llegar los miles. And Jethro tells Moses. Y Jethro le dice a Moisés. Let them handle the small matters. Atiendan cosas leves. There's a problem, let them deal with it. Si hay un problema, que ellos se encarguen. Let these leaders that you choose. Estos líderes que tú escoges. Be among the people. 
esté entre la gente. So they can have instant access to help. Para que ellos tengan acceso instante. They won't have ayuda. to stand on line waiting for you. Y no van a tener que pararse en fila esperando Because a these ti. leaders will do so with the anointing that God was going to give them. Porque esto, estos líderes lo van a hacer con la unción que Dios le va a dar. And later on you're going to see that when this happens. Y luego van, van a ver que cuando esto sucede. God says to Moses. Dios le dice a Moisés. I will take of the spirit that's on you. Voy a tomar del espíritu Moses, que está en ti. And I will share it with these leaders. Y lo voy a compartir con estos líderes. So, this is the order that was going to save the day. Esta es la orden que va, um, va a salvar el día. And if ever there was a problem too big for these leaders to handle, y si había un problema muy grande para que estos líderes lo puedan um, uh, Moses atender, would get it. Entonces Moisés lo va Now a atender. Moses would be involved when it was a big one. Entonces Moisés se va a Seriously big. Es un problema seriamente grande. But little things, Pero no. cositas pequeñas, Nope. And, no. and Jethro says, y Jethro le dice, if you do this, si haces esto, and then he says this wonderful phrase, y luego dice esta frase maravillosa, and God so commands you, y Dios te lo manda, te lo mandaré, then you will be able to endure. Entonces, tú podrás sostenerte, and y, this people will also go to their place in peace. Y también todo este pueblo irá en paz a su, a su lugar. God's order. La orden de Dios. Manifested in Israel. Manifestando en Israel. Five levels. Cinco niveles. And what does that remind you of? ¿Y eso qué le recuerda? This. Esto. From last week. De la semana pasada. That's the order of heaven. Esa es la orden del cielo. Five levels. Cinco niveles. Not 50, not 20, no. No, 50, Five. no 20, cinco. Review for me. Repasen conmigo. Who's up on top? ¿Quién está arriba? The Lord, of course, the, Dios, the Almighty. El Todo Poderoso. Who's under Him in terms of authority? ¿Quién está bajo él en términos de autoridad? Seraphim. Los serafines. That's right. Followed by yeah, exactly. We have the cherubim. Y después los querubines. We have next. Y después. Archangels, yes. Arcángeles. And we also have then. Y después. The angelic hosts. Huestes angélicas. Five levels. Cinco niveles. So Jethro was giving Moses. An order that already existed in heaven. Entonces, Jethro le estaba dando a Moisés una orden que ya existía en los cielos. That had to exist on earth as well. Que tenía que existir en la tierra también. A reflection of God's order in heaven here on earth. Una reflexión de la orden de Dios en el cielo aquí en la tierra. Are you following me, church? Están conmigo, iglesia. Later on, when Moses went up to the mountain. Después, cuando Moisés fue al monte. God would show him a diagram of the tabernacle. Dios le va a enseñar un imagen del tabernáculo. diagrama. Amen. In fact, there is a tabernacle in heaven. Y si hay un tabernáculo en el cielo. And God said, what you see in heaven, make a copy of it on earth. Y Dios dijo, lo que tú ves en el cielo, haz una copia aquí en la tierra. That's why this whole Ark of the Covenant thing and, and the menorah pacto, that we have here and all that, all that menorah, exists in heaven. Todo esto existe en el cielo. And God said, make a copy on earth. Y dice, hace una copia aquí en la tierra. Because what works in heaven is supposed to work on earth. Porque si lo que funciona en el cielo también debería de funcionar en la tierra. Jesus would say later on, what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Entonces Jesús dice, lo que tú amarras en el cielo, en la tierra what lo you, amarras en el cielo. What you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Lo que tú sueltas en la tierra va a estar suelto en el cielo. So this is how God wants his people to be governed. Es así como Dios quiere que gobiernes. His order. Su orden. Not human order. No la orden de humanidad. Remember the devil? Recuerden el diablo. How he organized his army? Cómo él organiza su ejército? Who did he imitate? Y a quién él imitó? He imitated God. Imitó a Dios. Because he knows it works in heaven, it'll work for him too. Porque él sabe si funciona en el cielo, le va a funcionar a él. So who's on top of the satanic government? ¿Quién está encima el gobierno Obviously, satánico? Satan claro, Satan himself, right? Satanás. Who's underneath him in authority? So this is from the last couple of weeks ago. Come on now. Who's next? Principalities. You don't have this. Write it down because again, we're following, we're following the order that we're talking about. Underneath that we have powers. These are, these are demonic generals, leaders in the army of the devil. En generales de, del ejército de Satanás. Underneath the powers we have. Y bajo los potestades tenemos. Rulers. 
gobernadores. And then lastly we have y últimamente the demonic hosts. Huestes diabólicos. Carbon copy of heaven. Es exacto la copia del cielo. And this is so powerful. Y esto tan, tan this poderoso, order of God. Este orden de Dios. That even though the devil was defeated at Calvary and no que, God he was. Que aunque el diablo fue eh, derrotado en el Calvario. He's still able to do so much harm. Él aún ha podido hacer mucho daño. And fight you and fight me so well every single day because he has a united army that follows orders and they're being quite successful just turn the news on you'll see for yourself I'm going to close up with this when David became king what order did he have? now this is going Past Moses, and now we're now we're with David. Second Samuel 18. Moisés. What order did David have? ¿Qué orden tenía David? As king of Israel now. Como rey de Israel. Well, who's on top? ¿Quién está arriba? David. David. Uh, of, of course, God is on top, but you claro get it here on Dios earth, right? Es, es, and encima. who was under David? ¿Y quién bajo David? It shouldn't surprise you. No le de Same exact. Thing. Lo mismo exacto en la orden es. He just copied the, the order from heaven too. Solamente copió los órdenes del de cielo también. And every battle David fought, he y won. Cada batalla que él, él, Israel's él tenía, army él tenía was éxito. undefeatable. El ejército de Israel tenía éxito. Because they were submitted to God. Porque se sometían they a were Dios. united in God. Estaban unidos en Dios. And they had the order of God. Y tenían la orden de Dios. You know, you know where I'm going with this, right? Ven donde voy con esto, ¿no? How about the home? ¿Y qué tal el hogar? What's the order of the home? ¿Cuál es la orden de la casa? Man, what a mess. Qué reguero. What a mess we have Qué today in homes. Tenemos hoy. Who's on top ¿Quién está en in every household? En cada casa. Specifically. Específicamente. No. no. God the Father. Dios el Padre. Yep. Bible, and you're going to see it. Here, Corinthians and Colossians. Aquí, en God Corinthians, the Father is Colossians. in charge. Dios el Padre está encargado. Underneath him in authority y bajo él en autoridad is God the Son. Está Dios el Hijo. Because Jesus willingly submits to the authority of God the Father. Porque Jesús se sometió a la voluntad del Padre. He, he did, still does to this very day. Y aún lo hace. Now, who's under Jesus in the home? ¿Y quién está bajo Jesús en el Sorry, my dear beloved sisters. It is the husband. Es el esposo. If he's in Christ. Si es que él está en Cristo, if he's not in Christ. Pero si no está en Cristo, he's not leading anything. Él no está dirigiendo nada. That's where women have to get up like Deborah and take over. <laughs> you follow me church? Están conmigo, But ladies if your husband is saved. Pero hermanas, si su esposo está, este, perdón, es salvo, that's, his, that's his place. Ese es su lugar. And if he's not saved then you become a Deborah. Y si no es salvo, se va a convertir en una Débora. Remember, Débora told her, told her leader, Barack, you don't want to do this, or well, I'm going to do it then in your play. Yo, yo lo. Débora le habló a su líder, dijo, tú no vas a hacer esto. So if your husband doesn't pray, and he, and, and, and by the way, if he's saved and he's lazy, pero si es salvo y él es vago, you remind him. Tú le recuerdas. Oye, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? What happened? Oh, yeah. All you do is televisión, televisión. ¿Qué pasa? What happened? All right, where is my blessing as a wife? Where, 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 where is your covering me? Where? ¿Dónde está eso? You're too tired, my foot. Levántate y ora. Si está muy cansado, mi pie. Tell Get him. Remind him. That's his job. Recuerda lo que es su trabajo. If he's a new believer, then let someone teach him how to do it. Si es nuevo creyente, permita que But alguien that's his place. Pero eso es su lugar. And of course, underneath in authority comes Bajo el, en the wife. Está la esposa. As he follows Jesus, Así como él sigue a Jesús, the wife follows her husband. La esposa sigue su esposo. He must follow Jesus. Él tiene que seguir a Jesús. I had a man tell me here, here, years ago, I can never forget it, Yo never. Tenido un hombre aquí, años atrás, que me dijo, My wife has to do whatever I tell her to. Mi esposa tiene que hacer todo lo que yo le diga. I got news for you, buddy. You better be sure tengo, God's telling you to give an order. Tengo noticia para ti. Eh, Wait, Dios no. Que tiene whatever que I say goes. He took it way que too yo far. Digo, va. And then, he, and then he said, and if I were to leave the Lord, si this is a, Señor, there's a God in heaven, el lo dijo. Dios en el cielo. I lead, he says, if I leave the Lord, she leaves the Lord with me. 
Entonces, si yo dejo al Señor, ella también tiene que dejar al Señor conmigo. I said, tú estás loco. I said, you're crazy. Cucu. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You, she doesn't follow if you leave the Lord. No, 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 no you don't. Si no si si you Señor. follow Christ, she follows you. Tú a y ya That is the Señor. order of heaven. Eso es el orden del cielo. And, like, and guys, y underneath the wife, of course, are the, is the children. Abajo la esposa, claro, los hijos. Again, five levels. Cinco niveles. Right here in Corinthians. Aquí en Corinthians. And again, this is not saying that women are oppressed. It's not. Esto no está diciendo que las mujeres están oprimidas. Jesus willingly submits to the Father. Jesús voluntariamente se somete al Padre. But Jesus and the Father are one. They're equal in every way. Pero Jesús y el Padre son uno, son iguales. He willingly submits. Él, él en voluntad se somete. Likewise, the husband should submit willingly to Christ. En tal manera el esposo Every day. tiene que someter a Cristo. The husband should lay his hands on his wife and his children and bless his home. Every day. El hombre debería de todos los días eh, poner su mano sobre su esposa y sus hijos. When you go to orar. bed together, you should put your hand on her shoulder or her head or whatever. Bless my spouse, bless her, I love her, cover her, protect her, on and on and on. Debería de orar sobre Every su esposa night. Todas las noches. And when you leave the house before you go to work, Lord, bless my family, I bless my household. Entonces, cuando se va de su casa, digo, bendiga mi familia, mi Men. hogar. We have that authority. Look where it's coming from. Use it. And if you're a single woman, don't, not married, then you don't have a husband in between. You're not married. Maybe you don't even have children. Or you do. But when there is no man in the picture, look who's above you. Ladies, you can go straight. Hermanas pueden ir derecho, I don't have a husband, but I have a savior. No tengo esposo, tengo I salvador. have a Lord. Tengo un señor. The husband's not saved. Lord, he's not saved. I have you. Mi esposo no está salvo, pero Follow? Señor, yo te tengo This is how it works. Es así como funciona. And of course, the wife should bless her children. Y claro, la esposa debería so de should the sus husband. Y también el esposo. The wonderful Spanish tradition, bendición. I love it. La tradición hispana, a lot of our kids don't do that anymore. De nuestros niños no hacen eso, Shame on you for not teaching that to your child. Vergüenza, no a tus hijos. It's a blessing that, that we, they really get blessed. They really do. Es una que ellos de When se han mommy bendecidos. and daddy are in Christ, mamá y papá están and mommy and daddy Cristo, put their heads on the kids, y mamá y papá pone sus manos heaven's sus glory hijos, descends on those shores. La de Dios a los niños. We're going to continue on this theme of church government Vamos a continuar en este tema de gobierno de la iglesia. next time we get together we're going to have this la próxima que nos juntemos, vamos how a do we esto. apply these five levels here to this house ¿Cómo aplicamos estos cinco niveles aquí en esta casa? and how should every church do it ¿Y cómo debería cada iglesia hacerlo? they don't no lo hacen. but you're going to find out how and why Pero van a encontrar cómo y por qué. have you enjoyed this tonight ¿Han disfrutado esto esta let's noche? stand thank you for your time Vamos a pararnos y gracias as por we su stand tiempo. together Nos paramos juntos. Today we finish reading Genesis four, chapter 1 to chapter 11. Hoy terminamos de leer capítulo 1 a 11. I hope you're enjoying the readings. Espero que esté disfrutando la leyenda. If you notice in Genesis 1, what did God do? Si se da cuenta en Genesis 1, ¿qué hizo Organized Dios? everything. Organizar todo. He put everything in its place. Poniendo todo en su the lugar. The sun, the moon, the El stars. Sol, la luna, las morning, estrellas. evening. Noche, la everything mañana. in place, everything right. Todo en lugar y en todo correcto. Because correcto. God is a God of order. Porque Dios es Dios de orden. If anybody has any questions on the readings throughout the week. Si alguien tiene preguntas de lo que está leyendo durante la semana. Let me know. Déjame saber. I'm here to serve you. Estoy aquí para servirles. But here, please listen to me as we close. Pero escúchenme antes que cerremos. In order for me not to be like Moses and, and, and wear myself out. Para que yo no sea como Moisés y cansarme. Can you please send me any questions you have on what we're reading? Anything, anything. Puede mandarme cualquier pregunta que tiene de lo que está leyendo. But send it to me on our band site. Pero mándalo, por favor, en, el, en nuestra aplicación Please, de Band. Please, don't make me go to Messenger, por WhatsApp, favor, text, Facebook, texto, Facebook, Facebook, searching for, you, for WhatsApp, your questions. Para que usted buscando it, it's too preguntas. much. It's es too much. Mucho, por favor. Band is the only place I'm going to be receiving your questions. En la aplicación Band va a ser el único lugar donde voy a recibir sus preguntas. And I'll be glad to share my answers. Y con gusto voy a compartir mis respuestas. Tomorrow we begin Job. 
Mañana empezamos a Job. We're skipping over now. We're going over to Job. Vamos a brincar a Job. May the Lord bless us all as we read his word. Que Dios nos bendiga a todos. Amen. Everybody join in praying as we close. Todos vamos a unirnos en oración. If you're here with your wife, your family. Si está aquí con tu esposa o tu familia. If you're here with your husband, if he happens to be here. Si está aquí con tu esposo. Let's take a moment. Why don't you just bless your family now? Toma un momento y vamos a orar todos juntos if ahora. If your children are not here, your husband, your wife's not here. Si su hijo no está aquí. Could you just esposo. extend your faith and bless them wherever they are, home, at their job, wherever they may be. Extend your blessing that way. Those of you who want to get married someday, by faith, extend your blessing. Wherever my husband, wherever my, my wife is in the future, Lord, bless him, bless her. God knows who they are. But let's bless one another right now. And Pero if you don't want to get married, which is fine, Pero si no se casar, está bien. tell the Lord, thank you that you've called me to be single for you. Dígales, gracias, Señor, que me has de May ser, I be firm eh, in your ways, ti. oh God. Que yo esté en tu manera, bless oh yourself, Dios. you can do that too. A ti, ti mismo. <laughs> hacer Let's eso all también. bless as we close in prayer tonight. Everybody, Vamos those at home, watching from a distance, do the same. Join us as we close in prayer. Únese conmigo. Oye la oración de este pueblo en estos momentos, Padre. Padre, los hogares están siendo bendecidos de forma ordenada conforme a tu promesa. Reclamamos lo Dios lo que tú has prometido y pedimos esas bendiciones que están orando estos varones por sus esposas, por sus hijos. Que esas bendiciones sean sobreabundantes y gloriosas en el nombre de Jesús. Padre celestial, los que no tienen cónyuge, te pido que los bendigas al igual. Señor Santo, que tú les cubra de gracia, los colme de riquezas y bendiciones. Si son cónyuges que no que te conocen, Señor, sálvales, Padre. Si son cónyuges que son nuevos en ti, bebés en ti, que crezcan en ti, Señor. Pero pedimos que este orden tuyo se manifieste en cada familia, en cada hogar, Dios mío, en cada persona que podamos experimentar tu unción, que siempre fluye cuando se hacen las cosas en el orden tuyo. Para gloria de tu nombre. We thank you because where there, where there is your order, there is your anointing. And we thank you in advance for the anointing in every individual, every couple, and on this entire family, every family of the church, and on the entire congregation as well. May your anointing flow as we follow your order, almighty God. And may we see your glory, Lord God almighty. We thank you for those that have been here tonight. For those who couldn't make it and are watching online, we bless you for them. And we ask you to take us now as your servant of this house. I pray your blessing of protection upon this entire congregation. L deliver us from evil and from the evil one. And lead us in your way everlasting as we dismiss in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the family of God together said amen. 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 God's peace. Thank you.